Well, hello everybody and welcome again to uh, another one of my Great Biking Roads uh, videos. Uh, this is going to be the mighty uh, Grossglockner in Austria, highest mountain in Austria. Um, and this, I'm breaking this up into two parts. First part is going to take us from the Zellamse side up to Bikers Point at 2,571 metres. And the second part uh, will take us from the Heiligen Blut side back up to the, the same point again. Wow, look at how many lanes they've got here. Glad it's off season. This is uh, 26th of September 2018 and this is the approach roads to uh, the mighty Grossglockner, the highest alpine road in Austria, on the highest mountain in Austria. This is the first time we've done it. There goes Liz, she's got the, um, she's got the advance purchase uh, ticket for us. Yeah, as I was saying, we've got this uh, group ticket from the OEMTC, which is like the Automobile Club in Austria, which gives us three passes and reduces the price. I think the three passes um, that we get on this ticket are, let me think, it's this one, um, Gerlos and the Knock Armstrasse. Got a little bit of traffic here but I'm not expecting much. Uh, you can see by the entrance lanes down at the toll gate that there's not going to be much traffic on this. It's uh, very much off season. So this is curve number one of uh, I believe 14 before we get up to the uh, bikers point which is the really the highest point and then 36 in all if we can go down the other side. Uh, this is shaping up nicely already. so lucky with the weather, it's amazing how long this summer's gone on. Lovely! Well, they're nice big sweeping curves, they're not like uh, like Stelvio or some of the Dolomites and um, in fact some of the worst ones we've done were in Mallorca where they're really really tight hairpins. These are obviously designed for coaches which makes it rather nice on the motorbike actually, you've got such a hairy tip in on the corners. Look at this view. Fabulous. Well, I think I'm going to do this one again. This is very nice. Oh yeah, look at these. Um, I noticed these before on a few other Austrian roads. These circles that you can see here. They're designed for motorcyclists to um, give you a kind of... Uh, you're supposed to stay outside the circles on the right-hand side of those circles that are on the left-hand bends. Here, here goes again. And the idea is that you're not banking over and putting your head in the line of the oncoming traffic, I think. I've not seen them anywhere else in the world, but they're starting to appear on the biking roads in, uh, in Austria a bit. Obviously always on left-hand bends. This has definitely been one of the best summers we've ever had in Austria. It just seems to go on and on and on. Got a forecast, weather forecast that suggests we've got several days uh, you know, of good weather and we go off biking and we think, oh, that'll be the last time this year before the snow piles in. But no, it goes on and on and on. So it's been really, really good this year.
getting a bit higher now. Here's Liz, I let her shoot off after the last stop. Isn't it by her here in the corner? That tree, fabulous. Sculpted by the elements. I'm not sure I'd want to come and do this in the summer though. If they've got that many approach lanes to the toll down there, I imagine this is just a constant in the summer with coaches, cars, bikes, motorbikes. I'm going to get a kind of a flowing ride going. Oh, nice straight. Yeah. Traffic. Let's get by him in a minute. Just curve number eight. Go, go. There's those circles again. And the view's getting better and better. Spectacular. I love the contrast between the white on the left and the green on the right. What a sky. Yeah, this is lovely. I think uh, off-season biking is the best. It's almost like your own personal race track. Traffic. Building it by this guy. Lovely jubbly. Must be getting towards the top now because um, not many more curves to go. There's a special little side chute apparently called Biker's Point. As I say, I've never done this road before, so it's all new to me. But I saw some pictures of it, and I think it's a little kind of single track cobbled road, which goes just a little bit higher. We will see. Yeah, we've gone above the tree line now much darker. The glacier we won't see until we get down the other side, the Kaiser Franz Josef Glacier which is a turn off off the main road. Kind of a side shoot. We'll be doing that tomorrow I think on the way back up because we're going to stay the night on the other side. You right back there, Liz? She can't hear me. Oh,
So this is curve number. This is curve number 14, which I think is the last one. Um, before we turn, yeah, we're going to turn off left here. Up there. Um, let's see what this biker's point's all about. Treacherous, potentially treacherous in the wet. So we've just come up to the top of this thing they call Biker's Point, which is about 2,500 and something. I'll go and have a look at the sign in a minute. Interesting little cobbled street. Lots of motorbikes up here and also lots of cars. And a kind of a, a visitor centre, as you would expect, on the top. Okay. Okay. 